All right, hey, what's up guys? Riley here from becominganelectrician.com. In this video, I wanna to talk to you about my favorite side cutters. That's what I've always heard them called out there. So you can see these ones right here, they have the angled head, all right? Also, they are the 2000 series, which means that you get that um, heavy duty cutting knife, which means that they're rated to cut through screws. If you want more information on that, definitely check out my other video about how to buy Klein Tools pliers, which breaks down uh, you know, the type of metal, the type of insulation. I am gonna break that down in this video quickly with uh, the writing here. Before we get into that, definitely check out my free book for apprentice electricians. Just go to becominganelectrician.com forward slash subscribe. And that book is gonna teach you a lot of valuable tips that I learned when I was an apprentice. All right, so I'll just break this down quickly. Again, uh, the letter is the insulation. So D means dipped. So plastic dipped, as you can see, this one here is plastic dipped as well as this one, as well as the pliers. These ones are plastic dipped. I really like the plastic dipped on these pliers. These ones are the D2000, as you can see. So the D2000, that model number stays the same between the side cutters and the pliers. The 2000 is that heavy duty cutting knife, which which allows you to cut through screws, which I highly recommend that, you're, that you look into. The J stands for that Journeyman Series Grip, okay? I really, really did like the Journeyman Series Grip on the uh, side cutters. I have tried other people's pliers with the Journeyman Series. I just like the plastic dip, but you go for what you want. But now you know that D is the dipped insulation, 2000 is the heavy duty cutting knives. Now the four here stands for the angled head, all right, and then the eight, I believe, is just uh, the length of the side cutter, okay? Um, so be careful, the 28, so the two just means the straight head, as you can see right here. All right, this is the straight head. I'm telling you, if you're gonna get side cutters as an electrician, it's not like that these things are, are useless. It's just that they're so annoying when they're straight because when you get the angled head, you can still cut straight with them, right? Like here, here's your straight cut right there. But it's the fact that when you want to go and you want to remove staples, like you got like that leverage, you'd be like, boom, right? So the angled head is really nice as well as the 2000 series. It's a um, heavier duty metal to cut through screws. And then I really do like the journeyman series uh, for these. One final thing I want to share with you guys. I saw us again, always check out Klein tools product catalog. They always have some cool stuff in there. And I saw that the J 2059, they're like these super heavy duty side cutters. They have a bit of a longer uh, cutting head and they just looked really intense. Uh, I haven't tried them, but these ones right here are my favorite. I want to just kind of quickly walk through um, my experience with these so that you are aware and then you know not and then you kind of know what's going on because um, I have had a lot of experience with these side cutters again Klein tools calls them diagonal uh, cutting pliers okay all right so first well they're gonna talk about these pliers so first of all you can see that they do have the angled head right so the angled head is very, very important. In that sense, uh, it gave me a good experience to remove staples, but the thing is they're just so small, okay? In your hand, they're just kind of annoying to work with. And so it's not that Fat Max is bad. As again, I always tell you guys that the Stanley Fat Max 16 foot tape measure is my absolute favorite tape measure, um, but just too small of a side cutter, okay? The problem with these ones, or both of these, is that they are straight. Okay, I put them in order like this because uh, these are the, kind of like the nicer grips. These are like that plastic dip. Again, this is a different company. It's Greenly, so it doesn't follow that same product model kind of number. Um, but you can see here that these are the D228. All right, so you're not getting that 2000 series. So D still means plastic dipped. They just changed the color just to signify that it is not the 2000 series, okay? Now you can get this in the D248, I believe 48. So it'd be D248, and then that would give you like the angled head, but it would not give you the um, heavy duty knives for, to cut through screws. Uh, you might be able to save some money, but I'm telling you if you're just gonna get them, like, you know, uh, both of these are the 2000 series, which I'll talk about in a second. All right, so, Straight head, I do not recommend. Uh, again, these ones were my very, very first one by Greenlee. Uh, when I first started, you know, I didn't know. I came in the starter kit, so I didn't really have a choice anyways. Uh, but the, the straight head, it's not enjoyable to work with. It does have those those uh, cushion grips, which I really do like, but over time they did slip off from Greenlee. Um, but you know, you can glue them back on probably. But uh, there you guys go. Okay, so these two essentially are my favorite 
uh, side cutters. This one definitely taking first place. This one coming in second. Don't mind the little uh, divot in there. Uh, I cut through a live wire. I was a dummy. I listened to somebody. Um, and one thing to say about that actually is they do sell side cutters with the hole in there to strip wire and I probably wouldn't recommend that. I was reading in reviews people said it was horrible because uh, for me experiencing this from cutting it myself like you know blowing it out myself it's horrible to use like these things became like useless because I really like to use side cutters when it comes to pulling twine through pipe right it's just you know um, pull, bring your side cutters with you. It was so easy just to cut the twine. They're nice and sharp. You got to be careful. You can cut yourself with these. These things, these things can pinch. Like these things got a lot of power, right? They can kind of nip you. So these are actually uh, the D2000 series and I've used them so much that it's kind of hard to see. All right, that's probably the best I can get for you guys. So you can see the D2000 and 48, okay? So the only difference between these ones and these ones over here is that it is the dipped insulation, okay? Now, I told you guys in how to buy Klein Tools pliers video, I told you I like the D2000 pliers, all okay? right? These are the nine NEs. So the reason I do is just because they just felt more nimble. I have tried the Lineman's pliers with the Journeyman series grips. I just found they're a little bit more bulky. I really liked the dipped for the pliers, but when it came to the side cutters, I really, really did like the Journeyman series, okay? Uh, grips. So again, between these two, the metal and the cutting head is the same, okay? So as you can see, uh, this one is the J2000. So the J is the Journeyman series grips. The 2000 is that um, heavy duty cutting knives. And then uh, the four, I guess, is the angled head and the eight, I believe is just how long it is, okay? So essentially at the end of the day, after trying many, many different side cutters, these are my absolute favorite, okay? One thing I will say is that even though these are the 2000 series for that heavy duty cutting knife, I was able to cut through screws and stuff, but I always kind of found as if I was really having to crank down a lot harder. Uh, you know, usually if I was cutting, you know, you, you, you kind of work your way into the cut a lot, but I always found that the lineman's pliers just gave, you know, they just had more leverage and it just felt like I wasn't going to break anything if I was cutting a screw. So if I was up on a lift and all I had was, was these, yeah, you know, I'd cut the screw because just to save time. But if my tools are right there, I would actually go and get my pliers and I would cut the screws with the pliers. So if you guys have any questions, you feel free to leave a comment below. And again, don't forget about my free book for you guys as apprentice electricians. It's going to teach you a lot of tips I've learned over the years from being um, an apprentice and eventually becoming a journeyman. So just go to becominganelectrician.com forward slash subscribe. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll talk to you in the next one.